Good morning. I'm Puan Chan Sutlai and my partner is Puan Tan Siu Tin. We are from Pusat Tingkatan 6 SMK King George V. We came out with our action research days with Joe Gibra in improving the ability to sketch curves in mathematics key among science students. The main objective is to help students remember the steps needed in sketching graphs of function using days with Joe Gibra. Our target group is 16 semester 2 science students, which consists of 7 males and 9 females. There were 11 Chinese students, 4 Indian students and 1 Malay student. There were two methods used. The first one being data collection, consists of tests, observation and Kahoot quiz. The second method was through intervention using days with GeoGebra. Our findings showed that days with GeoGebra had successfully improved the performance of students in sketching graphs of function. Moving on to reflection, the students show difficulties in curve sketching. This was supported by the pretest. As it can be seen here, the students can do a few steps but fail to sketch the graphs correctly. This was also true for the next two questions. They could only do a few steps but not sketch the graph. Our research focus is finding a method to ensure the students are able to sketch the curve. The general objective is to improve the ability of all 16 semester 2 students in sketching curves using the mnemonic TASE and the software GeoGebra. TASE is an English word which means a low platform for rostrum. Our first specific objective is to determine the domain, identify asymptotes, if any, find intercepts, if any, find stationary points, if any, and determine its or their nature. The second objective is to sketch graphs of the functions given. Pre-test and post-test were the instruments used to measure the efficiency of both the specific objectives. Next is the implementation of research, consisting of six steps. Firstly is the observation, pre-test and Kahoot quiz, followed by the analysis of pre-test. Next is the innovation of the mnemonic days with GeoGebra. After that, we came to the process of using days with GeoGebra. Then we carry out the post test and its analysis. Finally, we have a reflection and suggestion for future research. During the teaching and learning process, we observed that the students could follow the steps in curve sketching but the students' homework show otherwise. They could not remember the steps in curve sketching. They, this caused the failure to sketch the correct graphs. So, a pretest was carried out. This pretest consisted of four STPM past year questions on curve sketching. These were the functions that students were asked to sketch. This was followed by a quiz using Kahoot. Here is an example of a Kahoot quiz question. Students used their mobile phone to answer the quiz. Students were paying attention to the questions. As you can see, they enjoyed the quiz using Kahoot. They were so excited. Then, we started to introduce days. Let me demonstrate how to use the mnemonic days in this function. First, the letter D is for domain. For this question, the domain is x is an element of real number and x is not equal to 1, followed by the letter A, which stands for asymptotes. There are some questions with asymptotes and some without asymptotes. So, students need to determine whether there is any asymptote or not. If there is, they need to find the asymptote. In this case, there are two asymptotes, x equals to 1 and y equals to 0. So, 
they draw the lines for the asymptotes. Next is the letter I for intercept. Students need to determine whether there is any x-intercept and y-intercept in order to know whether the curve cuts the x-axis and y-axis. The intercepts are then marked immediately on the graph as shown here. Finally, the letter S is for stationary point. Again, the students need to determine whether there is any stationary point. If there is, they need to determine its nature. In this question, there is a stationary point. So, the stationary point is marked and labelled immediately too. With all this information, we can start to sketch our curve. We connect all the three points and sketch the graph along the asymptote. As the domain consists of all real values, there is another curve on the right-hand side. This is the final sketch for the function. After that, students practice curve sketching using the mnemonic taste on the worksheet given. A student then showed her steps on the board. Discussion was carried out to make sure they understand. More students were asked to show their workings. Now, now let's sketch a curve together. Given equation y equals to 2x minus 5 over x squared minus 4. From this equation, we look at the denominator. The denominator can be factorized to x minus 2 and x plus 2. Therefore, for the letter D, which stands for domain, x is an element of real number, x is not equal to 2, and x is not equal to negative 2. Next is the letter A, which stands for asymptotes. The asymptotes here are x equals to 2 and x equals to negative 2. Sketch the asymptotes straight away on the graph and label them. Then, we need to find whether there is an asymptote for y. For this case, there is one, which is y equals to zero. So, draw the line for this asymptote and label it. Then, i, which is intercept. The x-intercept is 5 over 2. Straight away, mark and label the point on the graph. Next, check whether there is y-intercept. For this question, the y-intercept is 5 over 4. Mark and label the y-intercept on the graph. Finally, the letter S, which stands for stationary point. The stationary point is 1, 1. Mark and label this point on the graph. There is another stationary point, which is 4, 1 over 4. Mark and label this point 2 on the graph. There are three parts in this graph based on the vertical lines. For the first part, on the left-hand side, since the values of x are negative and the values of y are also negative, therefore, the curve is at the bottom part. Then, the middle part. The curve must pass through the y-intercept and the stationary point. So, the curve is drawn facing upwards to pass through these two points. Finally, the last part. The curve must pass through the two points and there are two asymptotes, so the curve is drawn following the asymptote. This is the final sketch of the curve. Then, we introduce GeoGebra to the student. This is the interface of the GeoGebra software. Students use GeoGebra to check and confirm their graph. GeoGebra helps the student to enhance their ability to sketch curve. It builds their confidence when they are correct. It also provides room for improvement. As students can check their graphs with GeoGebra and analyze their mistakes if their curves are wrong. Finally, a post-test was carried out using the same question as in the pre-test. From the answers given, we can see that the student's ability to sketch graphs had improved. 
as it can be seen here. As shown in this bar chart of marks obtained in pre-test and post-test, all the students had improved in their post-test as compared to their pre-test. In fact, the students had improved tremendously. In this pie chart, for pre-test, only 31% of the students passed. But after the implementation of this with GeoGebra, this has improved to 69%, an increase of 38%. Feedbacks from our students through questionnaire said that they intend to use GeoGebra to check their sketches as it leads to a better understanding of curve sketching and saves time. Not only that, mnemonic test is very helpful as it guided them systematically. As a conclusion, this with GeoGebra has effectively improved the performance of students in curve sketching. For our, first, for our future research, we intend to create other mnemonics to help in memorizing steps and formulae to solve other mathematical problems. Thank you.